Hey, what's up guys? So I know I didn't post a video last week and the reason for that is because I had an exam on that Monday for my advanced corporate finance class. Uh, I really apologize for that, but we're gonna go and get it started again. Got no exams this week, so don't have to worry about studying. But today I'm gonna talk about the actual Audi CarPlay or Apple CarPlay um, that comes in the new 2017 facelift S3s. But before we do that, I really need to check the oil in this car because you should really check it every couple thousand miles to make sure it's not burning any oil. So let's go ahead and get that done. So if you're new to the S3, it's really easy to find the dipstick. It is literally right there in front. Bright yellow, easy to find. And obviously to check the oil, we're just gonna pull this thing up. What I always do is I wipe it off once and go back down. See if it'll focus here. You can see we're right at the, the midpoint, so I think we're still pretty good. Doesn't look like it's burning anything. It's a good sign. And this does have about 5,000 miles on it, so we're good to go with the oil. So now that we're done with that, let's get into Apple CarPlay. And of course, I am using uh, the clear mounts to mount this phone. And there is a link with the uh, coupon code that you can use to get 5% off. All right, so we'll go ahead and plug it in. I'll show you exactly how long it takes for this thing to actually kick in. It does take a couple seconds, um, which can be annoying, but it's not too bad. Just gotta get used to it. So you can see it's plugged in, and we'll see how long it takes for it to actually kick into CarPlay. Oh, see, that time was actually fast, so that's, a, that's impressive. It really, uh, it's really hit or miss with it. it. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it's really quick. They did recently update um, CarPlay to have these, uh, I guess, recent icons over here. So basically, if you go through and, uh, you know, say you pick, uh, I guess we'll say audiobooks, you'll see that actually shows up in your recent list over here to the left. And I believe that the phone actually stays there all the time. So you don't have to worry about that one going away because you can get to it quickly. Uh, this phone does not have Spotify on it, but it basically works really well. So the phone comes, or uh, Apple CarPlay default comes with phone, music, maps, messages, uh, now playing, which is basically, I guess the same thing as music. And then it does have the Audi MMI, which basically just takes you right back to your MMI system. You can see this is your, your home menu of MMI. You go back into Apple CarPlay. Uh, this phone does have podcasts uh, downloaded on it, so you can get into your podcasts, audiobooks, um, at bat, and will be at bat, obviously. Orioles fans, so I do have an MLB.com app, and then uh, Pandora. You can download other apps for it. You know, Spotify is another example of that. I don't have it on this phone right now, but um, I have had it on here, and you do, do get a Spotify icon on there, and it works really well. So basically, under phone, it should bring up all your contacts and everything. And the main point of Apple CarPlay is to be uh, voice activated it does use siri so basically you can tell you know the phone to call whoever you want and it'll do it you know voice activated you know the point of apple carplay is to not use the phone at all and to minimize the use of the actual control wheel here so you got your favorites recent calls contacts keypad you can actually dial the phone number that you want using this and then obviously scroll over and you can call them and then you get to your voicemails so if you want to go back home, you scroll all the way to the left, and then you'll see your home icon right there. Click on that, and then uh, check out music. It's basically just you know your iTunes and uh, playlists, artists, albums. It's basically how it sorts everything. And then you have your radio over here as well. So go back home, and then Google Maps. Or I should correct this real quick. Apple Maps. Um, I really don't use this that often. I may end up using it more once my Audi Connect is expired. I don't think I'm going to uh, pay the $400 or year or whatever, whatever it is to use that. I think it's a little expensive for what it is. 
so I can get traffic um, you know through this app here it just shows the lines if it's heavy traffic it'll show that the uh, the roads red so I may use it just for that but really this system's kind of redundant because you have the navigation built into the MMI system so I'll probably use that for navigation itself but if I need to check on the traffic real quick I'll just open up Apple Maps and just see you know if there's anything going on in there you can see you can get the uh, 3D which will take it down like that destinations and here you would enter where you would like to go and you do have shortcuts to your gas parking food restaurants coffee shops I'm not really sure what that icon is it's a basket I'm guessing grocery stores something like that and you can actually set favorites using this icon here and if you'd like to speak the actual uh, you know destinations you want to go to you can do that as well and it works through Siri back and this icon lets you scroll up using so basically all it does up down and basically the map is going to follow whatever i'm doing so there i hit left on the uh mmi control wheel right and then you can zoom in and out so you scroll up i really wouldn't recommend doing this while you're driving because it's kind of you're focusing a lot of attention on that so i really wouldn't recommend doing that so here we'll go back to the home screen, messages. Um, I'm not really gonna open that up because it's gonna show you all my messages and that's really none of your business, so I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, messages, it's, it all works through Siri and uh, you speak your message, it'll read the message out to you just like the Audi MMI system does. Now playing, it's basically your music app all over again. Go back home. And like I showed you earlier, the MMI takes you back to the uh, home screen. And podcasts, it's very similar to Apple Music. Let's see if the app back. I haven't had any success getting this to work. Let's see if it works now. Loading. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I don't know what's going on. I, I gotta look into that, do some research on that. The at bat app does not really work in CarPlay mode. Yes, yeah, unable to connect. Same message I keep getting for that one. So that one's pretty much useless. Let's see what Pandora does. Uh, nothing, maybe I have to set up permission to it. There it goes. This is the first time I'm opening Pandora on this. Uh, Apple CarPlay, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. Seems to be running very slow. Yeah, that's boring, so we're gonna give up on that one. Boom. So that's basically just a quick overview of Apple CarPlay in the facelift Audi S3. It's basically going to be exactly the same throughout the lineup. there you have it it's just a quick overview of carplay in the audi s3 like i said before it's going to be the same throughout the audi lineup if the car is equipped with apple carplay if you have any questions about the actual uh, carplay setup be sure to drop a comment down below and i'll go through there and answer all your questions i always do i'm really good with all that kind of stuff so be sure to do that as always drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel subscribe i post new videos every sunday typically i know i didn't last week but that's because i was really busy school is more important than this and i'm sure you guys understand that so that's why I didn't have a video last week. But moving forward, we're gonna keep to that schedule, at least try to. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to reflect and never settle.